Danny Minogue dazzled in a sequined ensemble as she led the red carpet arrivals at the Diva Magazine Awards 2024 on Friday evening. Joining the singer, 52, at the Grand Connaught Rooms, in London, Dame Kelly Holmes, 54, and Lucy Spragan, 32, also put on glamorous displays. Danny looked sensational in a strapless embellished gown with a plunging neckline and black fishtail skirt. She teamed her dress with some black strappy heels and completed her look with a generous dusting of highlighter. Dame Kelly wore a stunning lace jumpsuit with flared trousers that nipped in at the waist with a chunky leather belt. The Olympic athlete teamed the one-piece with studded stiletto heels and accessorized with a small clutch bag. Lucy looked elegant in a chic black dress with a sheer top and straight skirt with a pair of chunky loafers. The singer-songwriter pulled her hair back into a sleek low bun and carried a smart blazer. Claire Sweeney, 53, joined Danny for photos, she wowed in a stylish cream jumpsuit with a high neck and wide leg trousers. The Diva Awards, founded in 2017 by Diva magazine publisher Linda Riley, celebrate the achievements of LGBTQI women and non-binary people, and their allies, across business, the media and politics. This awards recognized some of the individuals who have supported the LGBTQIA community for the past 30 years, in recognition of Diva's 30th birthday. Also in attendance Sunita, 60, walked the red carpet in a mint green embellished midi dress and towering platform heels. She was joined by Sally Lindsay, Anna Richardson and Harriet Thorpe who all walked the red carpet ahead of the ceremony. Danny has finally addressed rumors she is set to represent Australia at Eurovision 2024 after sending fans wild with a cryptic post. The singer sparked speculation she could be representing her home nation at the annual song contest after resharing a snap of host country Sweden's eye catching stage. Danny finally spoke about the rumors during an appearance on Kiss 1065's Kyle Jackie O show, where she also promoted her new track Thinking About Us. Dashing fans' hopes, she insisted her post wasn't hinting at her involvement in the contest. Laughing off the rumors, she said, Oh my gosh, it's the weirdest thing. It's not like I can't say anything, all I did was respond to a text from Eurovision because I am a massive fan. That's all that has happened. No, not like a text message, it was like Eurovision is back just on social media and I was like yes. The countdown has begun. When asked if she would ever consider representing Australia at Eurovision in the future, Danny shared her doubts about her confidence to take to the stage at the extravaganza. I don't know that I would have the, I don't know, the strength to get through it. It's such a physical, 
like I saw Dammy do it when Kate did it, she's bending around on this pole. Guys, I am like, I am 52, I can't do that, I am not a JLo at Super Bowl, she insisted. It's a confidence thing and definitely that is not there for me in my future at the moment, but I love it that Australia is involved. And I love it that we get to showcase our incredible artists globally and then I go back to London and then everybody's talking about these Australian artists that they wouldn't have known before.